stop through and complete the promotion today. We had a uh, we had talked a couple weeks ago. This works out great. So it's good to see uh, a lot of you again. You a lot of folks here were very helpful to me in my last campaign. I appreciate that. I appreciate all your support. I appreciate the the hard work here in Stark County did for the whole ticket. I'd like to say that, that I, I love the campaign. It was great meeting so many great communities. I wouldn't trade any moment of that campaign except for maybe the last three hours in that Tuesday in November <laughs> when we all figured out that no Democrats had shown up across the state and we lost. Uh, other than that, though, it was a wonderful journey for me and, and I, I enjoyed it. And on a serious note, obviously, I think we've learned a lesson um, from, that, from that election. And that is that a lot of the elected officials who lost, people like me, and Richard Cordray is doing great, isn't he? Look what he's doing. And Ted Strickland, you've seen him lately, looks better than ever. You know, we're all doing just fine. But I would say that because of that loss, a lot of Ohioans aren't doing very well. A lot of the people we represent, a lot of the firefighters, the teachers, the, the police officers, the sheriff's deputies, who have gotten caught up in all these terrible budget decisions. Uh, where we're seeing budgets slash at the local level to pay for things at the state level, you know, they're the ones who suffer when, when we fail to show up and vote energetically as we should have in November 2010. So obviously our goal is to make sure that we don't let that happen again in 2014. And I think it's going to be up to folks like people in this room uh, to be energized, be passionate. I'll, I'll have a lot more time over the next 18 months to talk about my race for Attorney General. Uh, I have a very different view of the job. Uh, that the current Attorney General, I talked about that a little bit with your sheriff and your prosecutor. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm here to support local law enforcement. I'm not here to pretend I'm the local sheriff. You know, that's your job. That, that, that's the prosecutor's job. My job is to work with you and support you. And also, by the way, when things are done that undermine public safety, my job, I think, is AG to speak out on those things. So while uh, Mike DeWine has been quiet about all the local safety cuts, that have made this state less safe, I would have said very loudly, that will undermine the safety of the state. We're seeing that happening in a lot of parts of the state. Just as when Senate Bill 5 threatened the safety of our firefighters, police officers, and the livelihood of many others, I wouldn't have sat quiet. I would have said something. Now, that's just a few small examples of how different uh, an AG I would be versus Mike DeWine, but uh, we'll talk about that more later. Mainly, I'm here to also say, uh, you, you're very lucky in, in having a, a great representative like Steve Schlesnick. Uh, they are, thanks to gerrymandering, greatly outnumbered down there. I think it's got to be one of the hardest jobs to try and fight against ideas when the numbers are so stacked against you. I'm sure it takes a lot of energy. I'm sure it can be frustrating. But it's great you and others are there to articulate uh, wh why so many of those ideas don't make sense and stopping as many of them as possible. So with that, I'll be quiet and say I look forward to working with all of you in the next 18 months to obviously get Steve reelected and hopefully uh, change the top of the ticket as well. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you, David. And, uh, real quick, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, bring up Evan Claymeyer and Amanda. Thank you very much, Amanda Trump. Thank you very much for all that you've done to help me out um, with this event and everything that all the fundraising that I've done in, in the past. Uh, one person that's here that I don't know that a lot of people have had the chance to meet uh, face to face. <coughs> But a lot of you who have ever dealt with my office have certainly had the ability to uh, to work with, and that would be Holly Nagel. Holly, are you where? Did you raise your hand? Over there? <laughs> I would really be remiss if I didn't introduce her. She um, she has taken she has pretty much adopted Star County in, in, in the 49th district as uh, as her own, and she can tell you every single thing about the district. Pretty much more than anybody in this room can, uh, can could possibly regurgitate. Uh, she's been a champion for every single constituent of mine, and uh, and I can't tell you enough. For those of you who have worked with her, you know exactly how uh, how capable she is and what a great person she is. And Holly, thank you very much for coming into this. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and everyone, I, I hope you have a, a great uh, rest of your evening, and uh, please enjoy. And again, thank you very much for coming. Thank you.